What up Ninja Clan and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am, as always, your host, the Atomic Ninja G, and today we are playing some more Pokemon Indigo Disc. As you can see behind me, I have finally arrived at the first Elite Four gym um, area, I guess. But before we take on their trial and go and see if we can beat them up, a uh, couple of updates. If you saw yesterday's episode with the montage at the end, you will know that I went out and I caught virtually every single Pokemon I could find in this frozen polar area. I caught a whole bunch of Pokemon. Uh, my goal basically was to get any kind of Pokemon with dragon, ice or fairy types or moves, uh, which I think I managed to do. So this is currently my team that I've been training up. I wanted to get everything to at least level 80. As you can see, I've pretty much done that. Lapras was a huge find for me. I love Lapras. Lapras, 100%, one of my favourite Pokemon of all time. So, Lapras and Magma are almost at level 80. However, Magma may not be staying in my team because there was one Pokemon that I really, really wanted to get. And I spent a long time scouring these frozen lands looking for one Pokemon in particular. And alas, it eluded me because, and I should have known this, but I totally forgot, it is a version exclusive. So if you are playing Pokemon Violet, then your version exclusives are Alohan Sandshrew, as you can see there, and Shield On. Okay, so those are the two common version exclusive. There are two legendary ones um or paradox ones we will go into those at a later date and it's the same if you're a scarlet player if you are playing pokemon scarlet then your vision exclusives are alohan vulpix and kranados you also have two paradox ones which again we will go into at a later date so it's very difficult for me because I don't know anybody who has Pokemon Scarlet and also has the DLC. And I tried doing a link trade what felt like forever. All my days, guys. I was there for ages and ages and ages and nobody was... I mean, I didn't see an Alohan Vulpix. So in the end, I did the only thing I could think of, which is not really my favourite thing to do. I'm not a fan of it, but I did it anyway. And I went to Pokemon Home. Because I know that I have a Vulpix and a Kranados on my Pokemon Go account. So I've transferred them from Pokemon Go, which is a game I don't really play anymore. So I was like, do you know what? I can take them off there. It's not a big deal. So as you can see, they're not very high levels. Uh, but I do have now an Alohan Vulpix and a Kranados. They're very low level, level 20 and level 15. So I'm going to have to go away and train them up. Because... I really want to take that Vulpix in with me. I'm going to move Magma into this box. That Sandshrew shouldn't be there. Um, that was one I caught just to trade. So we'll get rid of him in a minute. So I'm going to go away and train up this Vulpix to get it to level 80. It's going to take me a while. So while I'm doing that, why don't you guys take a look at a very interesting phone call that I received while hunting down this Vulpix, which inevitably I couldn't catch. Hi there. Gee, it's me, Serrano. I see you've taken care of a good number of those BBQs. Up until now, you've only had access to entry level stuff. Seeing how you handle that, I think we can give you access to regular quests. Keep up the good work, would you? See you around. Okay. Well, that was a nice surprise. Oh, hello. Hi there, G. It's me, Serrano. Seems like you're really digging into those BBQs. I'm gonna see to it that you start receiving advanced quests. I think you've earned it. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure you can handle them. Good luck, now I'll see you around. And welcome back, Ninja Clan. So here we have it. Here is our full team of Ice Fairy Dragon Pokemon that we are going to be taking up against this Elite Four member. So we've got Vulpix, we've got Granbull, we've got Sandshrew, Mercury, Lapras, and Seedra. 
all above level 80. Uh, Grand Bull, 87. That's quite impressive. So here we go. Let's go talk to this person about the Elite Trial. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're G, right? One of the BB League challengers. That's right. Okay, you'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Well, that I can do. Are you willing to pay? Yes. Hopefully, if I don't finish the trial, I'm not going to have to pay, like, 50 BP every single time. Whoa. Uh, hold up, my friend. He gets in for free. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, are you sure, Drister? The rules say... Just charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it, yeah? All right, cool. That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. Okay. So is there no actual challenge? Feast your eyes on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. Okay. Now, it's basically the exact same court as in the other plazas. Just colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you'd expect from a dragon type user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to do my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble, so let's hop to it. I call my elite trial Terrarium Only Battles. Terrarium Only Battles, okay. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow league clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called Terrarium Only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions, okay? First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught living wild in the Terrarium. I mean, that's fine, because that's one of my rules for this entire DLC anyway. The only one I'm a little bit concerned about now is Vulpix. Second, you gotta be the one who caught him. Ooh, I'm original trainer. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets these conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun would it be if you just dipped into your vault of beefy Pokemon and chased your way through? Or cheesed your way through? Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. Alright, so again, the only one I'm concerned about is Vulpix. What do you say, bud? Ready for my elite trial? I'm ready. Let's see if Vulpix is good. That's your cue, Wonderlings. Come on out. Okay. My trail is about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. If you want to dive right into battling your three clubmates, go nuts. Rather stroll around the terrarium catching Pokemon first? No problem. So go on. Get out there and chill it up. Good luck. Everyone give it your best shot. All right. I mean, this should be fine. Uh, right, let's just start with you then. I love Pokemon with some brittle grey tones. Ready to battle me? Yes. So if it lets me battle him, uh, don't meet the trial conditions. Oh, man. I bet you it's Vulpix. That is rubbish. Right, definitely caught him here. Caught them all here. It's Vulpix. Ah, oh, man! Well, that's rubbish. Consider I spent all that time. Uh, right, okay, let's pop Vulpix in here. Um, and let's... I'll grab Magma. Just for the sake that he is fire. And it might be handy, considering we're in a icy zone. Uh, battle me, yes. Yep, it's Vulpix. That's so annoying. Good luck to both of us. Okay, because it came from Pokemon Go. It's not fair. Boo. <laughs> Alright, never mind. 
That's like two hours worth of training down the drain, but it's fine. <laughs> Okie dokie, is this a double battle? It is. Oh, come on! So he can use Pokemon from the other expansion, but I can't. Although, in fairness, mine again was from Pokemon Go. Right. Um, I've not come across either of these, so I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's use this on him. And then you can try Ice Beam on him. Let's see how that goes. I don't know what types they are. So it's not very effective. So Fairy is not going to do much to that guy. I don't think they're going to be affected by. See, that's not effective either. Hmm. Uh, right. So you could. I don't think this is. I don't think it's going to be normal. Uh, this moves power is doubled if the user moves after the target. Okay. Uh, and also lower defense. Yeah, let's use that. Let's use it on this guy. I'm gonna target that guy a sec. And just see what this does for us. So, your head smash to avoid the attack. Fantastic. Your iron head. Oh, pretty good. It's not super effective, but it's good. So, happy days. We'll keep head smashing him then. And that's pretty decent as well. So, let you crunch that guy. You iron head that guy again for me. Use head smash. Ooh. Okay, so wouldn't feel sad. Took recoil damage. So he's gonna check that out. Awesome. Then he's gonna crunch that guy. Yeah. And he's on 87 as well. There we go. He's taken out. Fantastic. So I'm assuming I can go heal in between as well, which is great. And we beat him. Hey, 85 for Sancho. There we go. Your Pokemon are like gems. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, so let's go and heal these guys up a sec. Actually, I wonder, do they auto heal? They do not. Okay. Let's have a look. Are they, are they using magma to get warm? <laughs> uh, right. So let's take a quick look, because that could be a, a thing. Okay, let's take a quick look here. Um, right, let's have a look at Kranados and the shield guy, because I want to see what types they are. Because it could be a case of they show up quite a lot. Right, so this guy, what type are you? It's a rock type, okay. That's straight up rock, and you are rock steel. Okay, so water would have been fine then, I guess. Okay, that's fine. We got plenty of water Pokemon. Uh, so what we'll do then is let's switch out that guy for Lapras. Let's do that. See how that goes. Um, oh, how do I get up there? <laughs> I, I don't know how to get back up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, one down, two to go. Let's do you next. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver. You're on. Okay. Round two. Fight. Let's see what you've got. Hopefully it's something I've got, and um, I know what the weaknesses are. Dugong and a Sand Slash. Okay. They're both ice. I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, let's use Body Slam on Dugong. And 
Iron. Uh, let's just take out Dugong first then. I'd rather focus on one of them uh, than split in between the two. So I can take Dugong out straight away. We should be good. Just use Iron Head. It's not going to do anything. So I assume it's not going to do much. Oh wow! Did a lot to him. Fantastic. And he's flinched. Alright. Um, let's use Brine on Dugong. And Iron Head on Sand Flash. Brian will take him out because it doubles the effect, does it doubles the damage if it's below half HP, which is why I keep that move around. I think to use okay, it doesn't do much, which means oh okay. Fine. Um not very effective. Let's do Hydro Pump. Is he not bringing out anything else? What does this do? Uh boost the defense stats of ice types. Don't wanna do that. I don't think he's going to freeze, but we've got to hit him with something. I could swap up a magma, maybe. Oh, never mind. Just use Iron Head. As long as you don't flinch. Just don't flinch. There we go. Ice Beam. Oh, okay. I was expecting him to kind of get taken out then. Uh, so we can use Brine uh, and Ice Beam again. Hopefully one of them hits. There we go. Job done. Sand Slash is defeated. She's not going to send out anything else. I think we're done. Already, Ru. Um, I'm not going to bother healing. I think I'm going to go straight into the next one. So here we go. Hi. You know, I don't know. I do, the streamer. I use the same type as her. So. Okay. Uh. You know what? Let's just do it. This is electric. Mm -mm -mm. That's not going to board well for me. I'm not going to lie. But let's take a look. See what kind of damage we can do diddly do against Ray the student. Self Striker and Magnazone. Okay. Ooh. Let's use Body Slam on... Okay, Zev Striker. And none of this is effective. So let's... Everything on Zev Striker. Flame Charge. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a heck of a lot. Okay. Nice. Screech. Defense. Okay. I see if we can take a Zeb Striker. Nope, not quite. That's Body Slam again. And what does Blizzard do? Why not? Why not? Sandshrew is gone. That's why not. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. I'm thinking either Granbull or Magma, maybe. See. Does he have any more Pokemon after Zeb Striker? Oh, Cedra's gone up. Okay. Um. Fire Fang is super effective. Okay. Let's bring him in then. Why is that super effective? Oh, is he Steel? because he's steel. Uh, okay, so I guess this is all he has left. I guess Magma would have been probably been the better. Um... Oh, that's it. We're done. Bye-bye. I'm going to go heal up and come back and take on Drayton. Well, there we go. That first battle then was the hardest of all three. Uh, 88. Look at that. Happy ding-dong days. That was electrifying, all right. Yeah, I took out Diono already, so you're not a problem, mate, but thank you for playing. So that makes, let's see, one, two, three. Nice, you went and beat all three of them. Which means this elite trial is elite complete. All right. Look at that, first time, whoop whoop. I mean, we did heal in between, but still. I probably didn't have to heal. All right, my league club assistants, retreat on the double. Goodbye.
Good battle. See ya. Aren't they great? No grumbling or nothing. Bunch of sweethearts. Okay. Let me heal up and then I'll uh, I'll take you on, mate. Although he is going to be much tougher than the other three. I fully appreciate that. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to battle. Guess you're still using the party you put together for my challenge, though, huh? Go ahead. Take a sec to change it up. Unless you want to dive right into battle. Uh, no, I don't. When you say change it up, does that mean I can put Vulpix back in? I guess I can. Because I did I mean, I spent a lot of time training up Vulpix. I want Vulpix on my team. Okay, we're going to move Magma to this box, because that is my team box. Uh, we are going to... Question. Are we all healed up? Looks like we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's... <laughs> let's eventually get in front of him and go for it. Okay. Ready to take me on, bud? Yes, I am. All right. It's on. Let's do this. Hmm. Here should be good. You know, I was thinking about the luck you get when you're in battle. And I realize I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now, I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real. I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it. I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said, I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun. So watch out! But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just battle me normally like you would anybody else, G. Here's the 100% Dracer truth. I'm so psyched, I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling, nice and easy. Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. You are challenged by Drayton of the BB Elite Four. <laughs> okay, full on dragon. That's right, come to Papa. Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see me ugly cry. Okay, let's Ice Beam Dragonite. Uh, twice. Fire Punch. Oh, not nice. Oh, you fiend. Okay. Boo. <laughs> uh, Flygon is a Thunder Punch. Okay, he came prepared. Yowzas. Alright. It's super effective, but did practically nothing. Whoa, not all types can make me eat a super effective hit. Oh, I see. Okay. It's from the battery. Alright. Uh. Yes, let's bring in Milk Ray. This Misty Terrain. Get rid of some dragon type moves, only 70 odd. Uh, right, let's Ice Beam him again. Let me just check now here. Uh, halves from damage type moves by turns. We will Misty Terrain. Because we're not planning on... Yo, okay. Uh, let's use Earthquake. It shouldn't affect... Oh, it does affect him. Oh, boo. Maybe I shouldn't be... Um, maybe Flygon's the one to take out... There we go. Much better. Uh, right. Now, think about this now. Okay, let's bring out Cedra. Maybe we will heal up Lapras. Uh, right. Can I use this on Lapras? 
I'm exiting the uh, Freddy Max HP and any status conditions. And then we will use which one does the most damage? 185, 160, Dragon Pulse on him. I should use full restore on Lapras. Boom. Good job. Stone Edge. Oh, come on. Grr, arg. How many Pokemon does he have? Yeah. Okay. Let's bring out Vulpix. And then I think we're going to have to start using some revives, because otherwise I'm not going to get through this. He's got a full team, and he's almost wiped me out already. Ow. Chee. Right. Speed is not on my side here. Is it Dragon Pulse? Yeah. Let's try and take them both out. It's Earthquake. Come on. This is back Dragonite. Man! Alright, Flygon needs to go down straight away. Oh, did he faint? No. <sighs> okay, Dragonite's down. We're gonna have to go through round two, I think. Uh, I hate it when the game does this. Alright, let's bring him in. Because he's the only one left to bring in. Uh, right, okay. Max Revive Lapras. And then we are going to Dragon Pulse Flygon. Hopefully Grand Bull will take whatever's coming. Yeah, Seedra's down. But Lapras can come back in and then we can revive Seedra later. Oh, except Okay, okay, well, he's still, he's still gone down. So, I'm sort of happy about that. Oh, no. Okay. Right, so first things first, Flygon needs to go down. But I still have Lapras in. Okay. Happy days, Haxorus. Ugh. Okay. Um. I think I just need to revive. Is it? Do you know what? No, it's not worth it. Uh, let's just terrestrialize and ice beam this guy. Hopefully, hopefully we get away with this. Okay. Come on. Good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so I would need ground bow. He's going to be able to take out the other guy. It's super effective, but not really effective enough. I don't think I'm going to be in long enough for this to actually work. But let's just go for it. So he's revive on him. Because he's got fire fang, so he can... Oh, come on. Earthquake is... Oh! Oh, but he's going to take him out. Yeah. Oh, he's not going to take him out. Oh. Dude, I love Lapras so much. Let's swap in. Alright. Now then. Who's this? This is Lapras. Lapras is going to uh, full restore himself. And you are going to super fan this guy. Because even though we don't know it's super effective, it's super effective. 
Okay, let's do it quick. Hopefully Grumbo stays in. Yes, he does. <laughs> he leaf storm against Lapras. Oh, Lapras is a tank. He's gone down. Okay. Hooey. Let's go. Uh, Kingdra. Okay. Uh, that's a water buddy. Uh, let's use Ice Fang on him. Hesa. And... Let's revive something else. Uh, let's revive Mercury. Okay. Iron Head. Okay, yeah. See, so if I had chosen a move, he wouldn't have got anything off anyway. So at least now Mercury's in a game. There's Rain Dance. Okay. Isn't that health water? Jeez. He should be gone. There we go. Oh my days. This is going to be close. Watch him wipe the floor with me now, right? Uh, right. Uh, super effective. Dazzling Gloom, super effective. Effective, effective, effective. Okay, so maybe... Oh, of course, because it's Dragon. Right. So we will revive Seedra. Okay. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Um, I've caught one of those, so I got Pokedex entry for that, so we should be good. Right, Lapras. I have Pokedex entry though, so why is it? Hmm. Okay. Uh, is that a drag? I think that's just pure ice type. So let's body slap. No, do you know what? Let's be sensible. Let's go to the bag and revive. Since we've got 54 of these things. Um, ooh, Cedra, right? And then, do you know what? You can heal yourself. Because that'll go for all the stuff that you're doing. And hopefully he stays in for at least one turn. Okay. This is a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. Now watch this dragon blood... Boy, take control, Lark. Oh, he's going to terrestrialize. Well, that makes things slightly easier. Because then at least now I'm going to know what type he is. He's a dragon type, of course he is. Alright, so Cedra is a good shout. Alright. Hydro Pump. I'd appreciate you using Hydro Pump on Lapras. Because uh, his ability allows him to heal when you hit him with water type moves. Not so much with those, but it's fine. Okay, good. Right, Cedra, in you come, mate. Is it now 2 on 2? It might be 2 on 2, you know. It is, it's 2 on 2. This is it for the win. We are going to full restore Cedra. And then Cedra, you are going to Dragon Pulse Kingdra. Because I'm hoping... Oh, why have I Dragon Pulse Kingdra? That was dumb. I should have done the other guy. Uh, Cedra avoided the attack. Fantastic. He's Dragon Pulse. Not going to do much. Oh, it's super effective. So it is Dragon type. Excellent. Ready to get blasted to smithereens? I won't leave you anymore. What? I don't know what he said. Absorbed electricity. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. And now he's shooting electricity. Oh, I dislike you a great deal. Ugh. Okay. This is a bit right on, but I come in handy. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. No. Sorry. It's happening. Because there's no way I'm getting through this with just... Hey Ninja Clan, 
This is Future G speaking. So this went on for a while. I ended up using a lot of revives, trying to revive between Lapras and Cedra over and over again. And basically, I just didn't manage to do it. Uh, he beat me in the end. So we're going to cut all that out to this. There was nothing really to watch. It got a bit boring in the end, even for me while I was editing. So we're going to cut that out. And we're going to go straight into round two. Fight. Okay, and welcome back, guys. Here we go. Round two. Hippity hoppity. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, come on. Nobody wants to see you talking either. Okay, let's go, go, go. So, Dragon Pulse on Flygon, and we'll use Ice Beam on Flygon as well, because we need to get rid of that Earthquake straight away. So, he's got it, and Hacksaurus has it as well. So, we get rid of those two as soon as possible. It keeps taking itself out, which is great. It really, really helps me. That's going to take half it down. And, yeah, come on. Don't care. <laughs> Thunder Punch. Ooh, oh, not good. But we can full revive. Not revive. We can give him full heal thing. Full restore. I don't know. Flygon's gone. That means one Earthquake is down. Uh, Sceptile. Oh, right. Yeah, this guy. Um, hmm. Do you know what we could do? Let's swap him out for him and then we will oh hmm I want Dragonite gone though Dragonite is quite worrying for me and Granville can take out Sceptile so that's fine Extra speed okay There's Leaf Storm holy moly that's not good. Ah, dude. Uh, oh, and he's going to eat the berry. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I forgot he had the berry. Yeah. Okay. Um. I really would like to bring him back out. But there's kind of no point. Uh, so let's bring out Vulpix. And since Lapras is a tank, Lapras is going to heal up uh, Cedra. So Ice Beam is 90, Ice Shard is 40, and that's 65. But it does, um, may lower the attack stat. So let's do Dragonite. And we are going to full restore on Cedra. If Valpix goes down, Seedra is going to come out and replace it. Alright, extreme speed. Yowzas. Maybe I should have kept Mag Morin. That's what I should do, maybe. I should keep Mag Morin. Um, he would have made very short work of that guy. Okay, super effective. Uh, let's use Aurora Beam again. <laughs> should he survive? I doubt he will. Nope, he's out, and that's kind of fine. He's only really in there for Cedra. The regular Vulpix. Now that was a Vulpix I'd have brought in. Um, but never mind, X is a... Okay, good job, Lapras. Ice Beam Dragonite is down. All right. Now then, Haxorus is going to come out. I know that much. Uh, where is Cedra? Swap in, got up a level. Phantasmic. Oh, Kingdra's coming out next. Okay. Interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. Uh, right. Dragon Pulse. Yeah, see, this is the thing. Okay, let's do it. Oh, come on! Boo! The next guy's got Earthquakes. I'm really going to need that to come out. Alright. Ice Beam on him. Let's get rid of that guy. What's he got? He's got a berry as well. I need to start using berries. Uh-huh. Right, let's bring out 
to carry. And you're going to revive Cedra again. That will be your entire job here. Is to use this on Cedra. And then your job will be to ice beam the brains out of this guy. Okay. Oh my days. You know when you spend hours planning out a team and they just get down in like one shot? Yes. Thank you very much. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. There we go. He's down. Okay. So, woo, that was beautiful. Seems like luck itself has a soft spot for you. No luck about it. It's super effective, mate. I love Lapras. I love Lapras so much. Uh, right, I need you guys to move that out of the way. Uh, screw it. Let's bring out Sandshrew. Sandshrew's going to help us heal out... Heal up Cedra. So Cedra comes back 100%. What is he? Breaks the mold. Break his face. <laughs> no, let's use items because I fully expect Sandshrew to go down first hit. And then we're going to use that on him. So I need Cedra in here to take out Kindra. So Cedra had his HP restored. We're going to use Hydro Pump. Sandshrew going to the attack. Good job, Sandshrew. Dragon Dance, okay. Speed and attack was okay. Just ice beam. Ooh, really close. Um, uh, focus sash, okay. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What does Blizzard do? Yeah, why not? And then let's body slam that guy. It's Hydro Pump. Good job, Sandshrew. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Not good at all. Sandshrew's painted. Oh, uh, I should not have hit Kingdra. I should have gone straight for... Yeah. Ah, uh, man, I forgot about Earthquake. See? That's what happens when you get complacent. That's what happens. Okay. Come on, we come on. No! Get him before he gets us. Oh okay, he's down. He's about to be taken out, which leaves him with one Pokemon. I think. Which is gonna terrestrialize into Dragon type. So I need to do a bunch of healing, because he's got that electric nonsense going on. Rain stopped, okay. Yeah. The only one he's got left, he's going to terrestrialize. So we just need to full restore everybody. Alright. Two full restores. And then let's pummel this guy. Oh, I forgot that stupid earthquake. I should have just taken Haxorus out straight away. Although it was kind of good they were both went down at the same time, so I didn't have to deal with this guy, this guy and um, Kingdra at the same time. But it is what it is, right? Let's see if we can't take this guy out downtown for a bag of fish and chips and a please leave me alone chat. Here we go, Electroshock, he's gonna charge up. Wish I had someone to counter that, I tell you what. Devastating. And he knows it. Right, Dragon Pulse. Now 
let's just go for it. I think trying to revive and all that kind of stuff now would be a bit dumb. So he's got stamina, his defense is going to rise. He's going to use Electroshock. Please don't take me out. No! And this is where it gets dodgy. Because now I'm going to have to. Okay. Uh, please let's not go around three. <laughs> Gathering energy. I just don't like how he gathers energy and then just gets to shoot straight away. Surely that should be a two move. Right. Uh, Dragon Pulse. Ice Beam. Because he can't hit me both at the same time. He can't hit both of us at the same time. Stamina, okay. So he's going to use Electroshock on Seedra. I don't like it that he did that, but at least Lapras is still in, and now Lapras is going to hit him with Ice Beam. Yes! Good job, Lapras. He's down, he's out. Round two goes to us. Hip hip, hooray, ho ho ho, and a Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you laugh at it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got loads. Okay, I got more prize money back than I had to give him, which is excellent. <laughs> Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the league club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member finally. What do you say? Ready? To be the real deal? I love it when they finish sentences halfway through a text box. Yeah, why not? Hey, <laughs> bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club roster. I think he said roster. Elite four Drayton's defeated. There we go. Happy ding dong days. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. She's... She might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there was one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah. We gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. I gotta go grab that. Wait here a sec. Okay. He really is quite goofy. Sorry for the hold up. I'm back. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Here's your reward, like I said. Dragon Cheer. Okay. What does Dragon Cheer do? The user raises its allies' morale with a draconic cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing critical hits. This rouses dragon types more. That's kind of cool. Guess I should have cleared it, but what's a little dust between friends? Cleaned it, I meant. You just might be the one we need to shake things up in the league club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. Thanks. Hashtag appreciates it. pre she hates it Well... Well, 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 guys, today has been a very long episode. So with number one out of four of the Elite Four done and dusted, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed watching me get whooped and then me kind of clawing my way back there at the end. If you did enjoy this episode, do me a favor. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Leave comments in the comment section below. Go nuts, do all those good things that YouTube likes you to do. And don't forget that we have a Patreon page here at Atomic Ninja G YouTube channel. So go check out that Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. But until next time, I have been the Atomic Ninja G. You guys have been awesome. And this has been Pokemon Indigo Disc.